Well, I think you're going to continue to see the trend of massive growth in connected TV. I think those audiences are going to be, continue to grow exponentially. I also think the idea of identity and first party data, that marriage will be at the forefront of every client conversation. Now, when it pertains to Disney in particular, that strength of that Hulu and Disney combined uh, first party data is really formidable. It gives us massive scale and great flexibility. I think that will continue. And if I was leaning into Disney even more, I would say our DHXP product is probably the most exciting for us. It allows programmatic advertisers a single point of entry to access the entire portfolio of the Walt Disney Company. So that those are things we're going to be talking about and feel that the marketplace has really been asking for. So many things have changed in 2020. How do you see upfront commitments evolving in the future? And what, what will Disney do, be doing to meet those demands? Well, Andy, uh, I think it's always been about advertiser choice and control. Uh, upfront commitments are, are based on scarcity. I believe that uh, we have assets that, that warrant that. However, we lean heavily into choice and control for the advertiser. However, they want to buy us, whether that be direct I.O., programmatic guarantee, or even our private marketplace or our IOA product, our invite-only auction product. We, we want to provide advertisers with the choice and control and the flexibility they need to buy the way they want to buy based on their strategies. So I think you're just going to continue to see that evolve uh, over the coming years. But that choice and control is at the center of everything that we do when we're talking to the advertising and what about more specifically around programmatic guarantees? How, how important is that and how is that changing? Well, programmatic guaranteed is a special place in my heart because I love guaranteed money. However, I lean back into that previous answer where it's really about the advertiser. It's about providing them the choice and control to execute the buys the way they want to execute, whether they're using their own first party data or whether they're coming to us to leverage our first party data. It's all about and whether that uh, campaign is guaranteed or non-guaranteed, it's all about providing them that choice and control. So while programmatic guaranteed is important and it is a great deal type, um, we also want to give the flexibility to the advertiser to make the decisions on their own. Now, Doug, there's a lot of um, data that's becoming available, that's being managed first party and third party uh, from different sources. We hear a lot about retailers and uh, other sources of, of data. How does um, Disney work with advertisers to um, utilize the data that they bring to the table? Yeah, we're, we're on our front foot on that one. So I think first you need to think about um, the safe transfer of that data. And we leverage the uh, partners uh, as well as we have internal resources focused on that safe transfer of data also with an eye to speed to market. So we wanna make sure it's delivered in a timely manner, but also protected. Um, and we have teams focused on that so that we can have conversations with any advertiser about leveraging our first party data, access to their first party data and all the audiences that can be, uh, that can be grown within it. So we're, we're very uh, much, I would say leading forward with that. Cause as I mentioned earlier, I, I think that this is going to be an ongoing topic for the marketplace. And it's a place where we can uniquely lead with that combination of the Hulu first party data and Disney all under one roof. It is a pretty sizable footprint. Now tell us about the sort of the, uh, the importance of the SSP and that, that's changed. We've been covering SSPs for years. Uh, they continue to evolve. Uh, there has certainly been a certain kind of um, uh, consolidation, I suppose, right. but but tell us sort of you know your views on how SSPs have evolved and what your needs are uh, as as a major publisher. Well, they are extremely important. The connectivity to the publisher and the SSP is paramount for success. I think when you start to look at things like live live sports in particular is really challenging to buy. So at both of the buyer and the seller. So in that case, you, that's where you rely heavily on your platforms to help you execute and none more important than your SSP. But they also have to have that market sophistication that they connect to the DSP marketplace. So there's trust built in there. 
as well as the technology shops to execute the buys. So I would say it's only grown in importance. I, I, I might give a nod to the fact that there has been consolidation, but those that are there are their even stronger relationships with their publisher partners. Great, and, and finally, Doug, what are your thoughts about the year ahead, uh, you know, for Disney and, and for the industry and sort of moving into this programmatic world we've been talking about for so many years? Well, I feel like data, first party data, as well as identity are going to be a continued topic. I think the growth of connected TV is going to outpace market expectations. I think that's going to just continue to take off and it provides us a great opportunity. Um, I also think that you're going to see from Disney, the ability to service all marketplaces where before when we were separated, we could only do some. Now that we're together in a growing team, we can accommodate access to every advertiser who's seeking programmatic connection to us. So that's really exciting. Not only the growth of the team, but the growth of the portfolio, all of the um, uh, incoming subs, uh, as well as the growth of the, of the digital port, uh, platforms, all of that combined is, uh, is pretty exciting. 